After all the Christmas confections that you've made and consumed during the month of December, if you're anything like me, you're ready for a little bit lighter and brighter cookie. That's why in January, I love using fresh citrus flavors in all of my baking. I've been scouring my great grandma's old cookie book with all the recipes that she either cut out of magazines or hand wrote down. And I'm finding ones that I just cannot wait to try. So today I'm making an amazing lemon infused cookie. And I think you're gonna love it as much as I do. To start, we're gonna cream a half a cup of butter and one and a half ounces of cream cheese together in a mixer. There's always a good test to tell if your butter is actually at room temperature. You want to take the butter and bend it. It shouldn't break, but it should bend. While creaming the butter and cream cheese, make sure to scrape down the bowl at least once. There's always a divot in the bottom of electric mixers, and you want to make sure that that gets well incorporated and nothing gets stuck in there. Next, add one egg yolk. I just like to break it into a small dish and use my hand to take out the yolk. After you add the yolk, mix together to incorporate. After the yolk is mixed in, make sure to scrape down the bowl again. Now we want the zest from one lemon. I love using these microplane tools to zest. It's quick and simple and gives you just the yellow part of the lemon and not any of the white pith, which can be bitter. After you add the zest from your one lemon, you want to add the juice of half of the lemon. If you don't have one of these handy juicers, I suggest you get one right away. They allow you to put the lemon right inside and they squeeze the juice out but keep the seeds intact. They're perfect for this. Now just mix the juice and zest into the butter mixture. Now we just want to add one and a quarter cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and sift it. I just use a great colander to sift all my ingredients. Put it over a bowl and dump it right in. And add a fourth a cup of confectioner sugar. Now with the mixer running, just add your dry ingredients. As a variation on this recipe, and it's completely optional, I'm adding one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh rosemary. Rosemary and lemon just marry together in the perfect way, and they remind you of the crisp summer flavors you're always craving. These cookies are made using a cookie press. It's a great way to make a fun little cookie, and this dough works great for a cookie press. So it's solid enough that you're able to pick up pieces of it and form it into a long cylinder to place right inside the cookie press. It won't be too messy of a job. If you're not used to using a cookie press, they're really easy. Pick the design you want, place some dough inside, and start making the cookies. You might have to make a few flops first right back into the bowl just to make sure you get started well and get all the air out. As you can see, I always press my cookies directly onto a silicone baking pad. These are great and take the place of parchment paper in the kitchen. I never bake without them. Once you have a pan full, place them in a 350 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes until just slightly golden brown. You don't want these to get overbaked. Once the cookies are baked, you want to let them cool in the pan for one to two minutes and then transfer them to a baking rack to cool completely. You'll notice they're perfectly baked when they're slightly golden on the bottom of the cookie and still the light color of the butter on top. I'm making a great glaze to go over the top of these cookies. It will give them just the right amount of sweetness needed. I'm using the other half of the lemon that I have left over from the recipe and I'm juicing that right into a bowl. And then I'm going to add just enough powdered sugar until it starts to make a good glaze. It should be anywhere from a half a cup to a cup depending on the size of your lemon. After the cookies are cooled, you can add the lemon glaze. 
I like to apply this by putting the rack right on top of a baking sheet. This way any excess glaze that drips off the cookies can be saved and reused. I'm just going to drizzle it over using the small whisk I use to mix up the glaze. You can add as much or as little as you like. You can also just dip the cookies in the glaze. This gives them more glaze and it covers the entire area. Once you've put on your desired amount of glaze, let the glaze dry and you're ready to go. This is a great, savory, and not too sweet tea cookie. It's perfect for those times that you want a little something extra to go with your tea or coffee, but aren't craving the sweetest confection. I think you're gonna love these cookies.